What's up guys, Saf Ashraf here. Today we are going to be looking at the HyperX Quadcast microphone. In my opinion, one of the best and my favorite microphone, USB microphone of all time. So without anything else said, let's get straight into the video. By the way guys, the audio you are hearing right now of me speaking is actually from my iPhone 13 Pro. But yeah, how about if we switch that to now the HyperX Quadcast, you can now tell the difference. So yeah, throughout the video, you'll be hearing the audio from the HyperX Quadcast microphone in its cardioid setting. I'll go over that in a bit. But yeah, so you guys can judge on what you guys think and make sure to use headphones throughout the video so you can definitely hear what this microphone sounds like. All right, so first of all, let's talk about the design of this microphone. If you are a streamer or a YouTuber, this is going to be in your videos quite a bit. So the design overall of this microphone looks quite nice. It's got the signature HyperX red color scheme which looks nice however it can't be turned off unless the mic is turned off it's both a positive and a negative the top of the actual microphone has a touch sensor which if you tap it will actually mute the microphone as you guys did see and the light also turns off giving a proper signal that the microphone is off so you can definitely tell if it's on or off. Now it's a great feature since such a huge microphone can be an indicator for whether the mic is on or off. However, I would like to see a feature where you can just leave the light off all the time because it is quite a statement piece. It is a bright red glowing microphone. You might want to turn that off in your videos to keep it low key. Unfortunately, we can't do that here, but hopefully Hyperx create a new microphone where that can happen. So at the back of the microphone, we do have a USB port. Like I said, this is a USB mic. It isn't USB-C, it's actually a very old version of USB micro USB. However, the new HyperX Quadcast S does have USB-C, but that is slightly more expensive. So this is actually the same thing, literally the same thing. The cable that you get included in the box, I think is two meters. It's nice and long and it's also braided so there won't be any wear or tear coming from the cable anytime soon we also have a headphone jack and we also have a wheel where you can switch between the four quadcast settings on the microphone but we'll talk about that a bit later on in the video in detail now for the sound quality you guys be have been hearing the quality from the microphone for the video and if i just quickly switch back to the iphone 13 pro this is what my phone sounds like about two or three feet away from my face and then if we just switch back to the actual hyperx quadcast this is what it sounds like about a feet like a feet or two from my face and yeah it does sound pretty good at the bottom of the microphone there is actually a gain control on whether how much you want to actually get from the microphone so if i just turn that all the way down it is a bit far away from my face but as you can probably tell the audio did get a bit quieter and if i turn it all the way up you guys can probably tell the audio probably doesn't sound right and it's probably really really loud so I like to keep it in the middle, especially if it's just like a right distance away from your face. Right now, I actually have it on some one of the lowest settings because it is quite close to my face and I'm making a video. I'm trying to make it sound good. Now, let's talk about the four modes on the microphone. So first of all, there is stereo mode. So stereo, I think we all know it is. It takes the left and the right of the microphone and creates that into two channels. And this is best for if you're recording instruments or if you're recording two people on the left and right. This is what it's mostly used for. Next, there's omnidirectional. Omnidirectional gets audio from everywhere around the microphone. So you could be sitting anywhere if you are with a group of friends and for some reason this microphone's in the middle. It will get audio from all around of the microphone. So this is also good for like a lot of people, a bunch of conversation, or there's just lots of things you want to record around the microphone. Next, the pattern that I'm using right now called cardioid is basically recording the audio from the front of the microphone, which is probably one of the best sounding modes on this microphone also. And yeah, if you're a streamer or you're sitting at your desk and this microphone's in front of you, or you're just using this for yourself like I am right now, I'd use cardioid because it sounds the best and it also picks up audio straight in front of the microphone. Then we have bi-directional. This gets audio from the front and the back of the microphone. This is once again best for interviews when there's someone in front of you and then you're behind the mic. So it's good for face-to-face -face interviews, but if I were you, most of you guys are probably gonna be buying this microphone for individual usage. So yeah, I'd probably stick to the cardioid pattern and keep the audio gain depending on where it is from your face to around the two or three level. Now some nice bonuses, we also do have a shock mount came in the box with the microphone. We also do have a proper heavy stand, but I don't use that as I use an arm as you guys can see. The arm I'm using with this mic right now, I will leave in the description as well as this microphone. Should you buy this microphone, 
you absolutely should. Coming at only £99 right now on a deal on Amazon in the UK right now, it's a pretty good steal. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys again soon. Make sure to like and subscribe and once again, I will have the links for these products in the description. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. It's been Safash Peace.